Hi guys, this is Sushant Ochak and today we are going to talk about how intermittent fasting helps prevent or cure diseases. Uh, so, uh, in intermittent fasting, uh, your body gets rest, that is one thing. And the second thing is that uh, you do not supply energy to your body for a particular time frame. Now, both of these have uh, really big advantages for our body. So we will talk about first thing, uh, body getting rest. When our body gets rest, let's say you are sitting idle, you have nothing to do. And that is the case with the body, body has nothing to do, it is resting because you have not given it food to digest, your digestive system is not active. So at that time of rest, um, your body uh, collects the waste and removes it. So your body gets rid of the waste, it removes the toxin out of the body, waste out of the cells. Uh, this waste, if it uh, keeps accumulating just like waste in your house, if you keep accumulating waste in your house, then it is highly likely that you will catch a disease because of uh, the waste. So that is the case with the body. If your body keeps accumulating waste, then it is highly likely that your body is going to catch a disease. So when you do intermittent fasting, your body gets rid of that waste. That is one thing. So basically it does purification of itself uh, and your organs uh, health improve uh, on intermittent fasting because your organs get time to um, purify themselves. So it improves their health. Uh, if your organs do not uh, uh, get rid of the waste, then your organs health will deteriorate and you, when your organs health deteriorate, you will perhaps catch a disease. And now the second one is no energy supply. Uh, so you are not supplying energy to your body. Now when you do not supply energy to your body, the bad cells in your body um, do not get enough energy to survive on or to on or on which they can grow. So those cells start to get weak uh, or they can eventually die uh, because of uh, uh, inadequate energy supply. Now uh, one thing is that they, uh, these bad cells start to get weak and the second thing is when you do intermittent fasting uh, the good cells like tumor killing cells, um, the cells that kill the bad cell, they start to grow. So you have two advantages, bad cells getting weak, your enemy getting weak and good cells, uh, your friend getting stronger uh, which will kill the bad cell. So basically by doing intermittent fasting, you have these benefits, uh, your bad cells uh, get weak or eventually die and your tumor killing cells uh, grow and they eventually kill the bad cells. This happens in diseases like cancer. Okay. So this is how your um, intermittent fasting can help you um, save yourself from cancer or if you are already suffering from it, then it can help you. Uh, move towards the cure uh, then uh, so intermittent fasting helps with a lot of diseases i'm going to be discussing a few over here now it helps with heart disease, heart related diseases blood pressure cholesterol triglycerides where uh, the lipids the fat in your blood increases the heart attack uh, in heart attack you uh, do not get enough supply blood supply uh, to the heart blood carries oxygen your uh, cells do not get enough oxygen and you suffer from heart attack so when you do intermittent fasting all uh, you kind of move away from these diseases so so if you are moving by your daily routine you are moving towards a heart attack and you do intermittent fasting then you stop moving towards a heart attack your and you perhaps will start moving away from heart attack so basically you'll uh, perhaps start moving on a path which takes you away from a heart attack you can understand it this way now third one is diabetes uh, it is very good for diabetic patients to do intermittent fasting um, so for like doing upvas one day full fast or like uh, not eating anything for 16 hour or 18 hour window out of 24 hour window uh, Intermittent fasting improves insulin sensitivity and uh, decreases insulin resistance. 
If you do not understand these terms, insulin sensitivity, resist, insulin resistance, triglycerides, then it's okay. Just understand that it is, it is very good for uh, these diseases, to cure these diseases or to prevent these diseases. Uh, obesity and related diseases, um, intermittent fasting gets uh, you to lose weight and then you get rid of the uh, diseases relating to obesity. Now the this the next one is stroke. So uh, so stroke is for the brain and heart attack is for the heart. So uh, your brain's health improve uh, due to intermittent fasting. So you would not be going towards the path uh, on you you would not be walking on the path towards stroke. Rather you would uh, perhaps walk towards uh, the path away from the stroke, taking you away from the stroke. Uh, Alzheimer's disease. Uh, this one is where as you age, you start to lose your memory, so you start to forget, so maybe you are not able to recognize your children or grandchildren. So people, uh, as people age, they start to lose their memory. So intermittent fasting uh, saves you from uh, catching Alzheimer's disease or if you already have, maybe it improves uh, the uh, markers of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, then it uh, takes down depression, it reduces uh, depression, uh, it reduces inflammation where our body kind of harms itself and it, it cha makes changes to our genes uh, in a way that is beneficial for us. Then it reduces the side effects of chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is a technique used for um, cure, uh, as a treatment for cancer. So it reduces the side effects of chemotherapy. Now these are some, just some benefits because science is still researching on benefits of intermittent fasting. But uh, our Shastra, uh, the spiritual texts, they already know about it. They already know about intermittent fasting. So there is something known as upvas where you do one day fasting. It is it has been called as the best medicine in our spiritual days. Uh, it can be now someone can ask that if I am doing upvas uh, that is for one day, why cannot I do it for continuously two or three days? Not eating for continuously two or three days. See, you can do it and. Uh, that also has benefits uh, but you can also go up to 15 plus days or 30 plus days continuous uh, fasting but uh, those sort of things are usually done by people uh, who do it for uh, their soul who do the tapasya, uh, tapasya for their soul um, rather than the body their main aim is to um, give pain to the body to uplift the soul so and this channel is for majorly for fitness and body so, so they'll perhaps not want to go um, so high on uh, fastings so basically uh, as I said was uh, said to be best or the best medicine uh, in spiritual texts uh, now someone can say how would I be able to do was one day fast um, it is so hard to do it see uh, with practice uh, over like 5 to 10 uh, one day fast you will learn how to do them and you will stop feeling uh, uh, a lot of hunger on the days of fasting and you will stop craving food you will stop starving but initially when you practice you can um, use this technique that uh, when you are uh, when your fasting day starts usually t uh, you do not feel so hungry till 12 uh, 12 or 11 a.m. in the morning but uh, as the day goes by you can uh, you can try to make yourself understand that okay the next day is about to come just a few hours left the next day is about to come and the next day comes really soon that is also a reason that one day fast is easy because you can see the next day coming uh, on a multiple day continuous fast uh, <laughs> the next day you know that the next day is also fast day so it is harder, usually harder to do than uh, one day fast. So and still if uh, you feel that oh one day fasts are really not my cup of uh, tea, then you can simply uh, keep your um, food in a 6 to 8 hour window out of the 24 hour window and you can stay uh, on fast for 16 to 18 hours. 
so initially it would be hard to stay hungry for 16 to 18 hours but you, initially you can start with 12 hours 12 hours of fasting 12 hours of feeding and then you can uh, go to 13 hours 14 hours 15 hours 16 hours 17 hours or 18 hours but you should at least uh, um, uh, do the fast for 16 hours if it is not possible for you then do whatever you can uh, so that is what you can continue for your whole life even if you cannot do fast one whole day fast uh, but you can definitely stay hungry for 14 15 16 17 or 18 hours a day and eat your food in the rest of the hours out of 24 hours uh, if you like this video please like comment and share helps you in the next video bye bye